Hello, my beautiful beardy friends. So I'm gonna be going through the stages of beard growth, my beard growth with pictures, and you're gonna see the cringe. Uh, let's go through that from zero to this. If you're new to this channel, please remember to subscribe because that means a lot to me. Okay, let's go look at my beard growth and the stages with the photos. I'm sure it's gonna be embarrassing. Okay, so growing a beard to this stage and beyond is kind of fun because, you know, you've gone through all the hard steps. The hard steps are when your beard doesn't look very good, you're embarrassed by it. The early stages, you know, you can kind of look a little bit like you just don't care about your appearance. When, when you're growing a beard, that's the last thing you want. You wanna grow an awesome beard that matches your face. So let's go through each stage um, and focus on what was tough about that stage and how you can resolve those issues. And to be honest with you, in the early stages, there's not much you can do just push through it until your beard is long enough to do something with. Okay, let's have a look at day zero. Day zero is fine. I mean, in this photo, I had just shaved. So uh, it looks like I've got about probably a day maybe worth of, of growth there. Uh, I may have shaved in the morning, but yeah, I think at this stage, you're preparing your face for beard growth. So making sure that you've got good moisturized skin, you uh, have used a single blade safety razor um, to shave before you grow. And you also make sure that you don't have any ingrown hairs. Ingrown hairs can be incredibly uncomfortable. And as you grow your beard, you can't see them and you can't get to them as well. So making sure that you don't have any stubble, uh, rash, that you don't have any ingrown hairs is the perfect place to start growing your beard. Make sure you're moisturized and really just lay the foundations for good hair growth. Um, I had been using a single blade safety razor pretty much for five or six years before this. And so, uh, yeah, that's what my face looked like. Uh, my chin is okay, actually. I thought my chin was gonna be much smaller than that, but yeah, there we are. Okay, that is day zero. Let's have a look at the next stage. This is one week in. So one week, it's kind of just like a lazy week. Um, I, it wasn't uncommon for me in the past to go through about two weeks without shaving and then getting rid of it. So here you can see that, you know, I've got a little bit of stubble, but nothing that people would start to think, oh, he's untidy or he's growing a beard. Um, maybe I could have done much more uh, in terms of you know, shaving more often, but that wasn't uncommon for me. So yeah, that was the beginning of the growth. It doesn't look, it's not long enough to look untidy at the moment. It's not long enough to look like I'm trying to do anything. So one week in probably isn't too bad. It's when you start looking to that gray zone, which is a little bit later, it's like, is he growing a beard or is he just really lazy? So uh, let's have a look at the next photo, which is week two. So week two is where you start to get an appreciation of where grows well and where doesn't grow as well. Your hair may start to become long enough that it starts to clump and look kind of like it's trying to do something. Um, down here where you don't have a defined line looks really messy. Up on the cheeks can look really messy, but please don't be tempted to define anything at the moment. This first two months, if three, if not three months, are just all about growing. Just do it, just grow it out. Don't think about anything. Um, get past all of those opinions you think people have of you and just grow. Uh, it's at this stage that you start to think, hmm, this is gonna be a long journey, two weeks, in the early stages feels like a very long time on your way to beard growth and beard perfection. So um, yeah, stage uh, two, which is this two week stage, um, this is where you really have to make a decision. Are you in it for the long haul or are you just gonna go back to a shaven, sort of clean shaven face? Because if you're in it, this is the time to decide. Um, you haven't invested too much time but uh, your growth is on its way and 
uh, importantly, you're probably already starting to be a little bit uh, conscious of the minute details of your beard. Uh, so yeah, let's have a look at the next stage that's important, and that's week four. So for me, about four weeks in, um, I hadn't trimmed up anything, I hadn't done anything uh, underneath, uh, I just let it grow. And so this is the stage where people start thinking, okay, you have a beard, or you at least are attempting to have some form of beard, uh, we just don't know how long you're not going to shave for. Um, luckily, I've got quite even growth. Um, it wasn't long enough at the time to kind of get into my mouth, which is a really annoying part of beard growing. But uh, you can see that it's a little bit like a tennis ball, right? A little bit fuzzy, a bit longer, a little bit unkempt. Um, and yeah, look, in, from here onwards, it's just about thickening it up. It's just about sort of growing out the chin and the hairs. But as you can see, week four, not so bad. Um, it starts to look like I've got a beard, a, a bit of a shorter beard, um, but there's no reason why you can't stop there and give it a little bit of a trim up. But really, if you're going for a big beard, you've just got to keep going. Get rid of all those negative thoughts in your mind and think, okay, I am growing a beard and nothing will stop me. Okay, let's have a look at the next step. Week six. So week six, you can see that in the mustache area, it's starting to kind of come over my lip. I imagine, I remember that being quite weird because especially in the corners, you can touch it with your tongue and my partner would always be like, stop licking your beard, it looks really weird. Um, but yeah, it it is long enough to be annoying at this stage. Uh, it starts to itch under here. You have, you know, the beard still is defined by the shape of your face. So everything kind of grows out um, and it's at this stage you could probably start to think about beard oil. Um, about six weeks in you could start thinking about, you know, conditioning it. Um, but yeah, this is where it starts to get a little bit more serious in terms of the maintenance because you're just so aware of this thing on your face. Um, and itchiness in the neck crease and around on my top lip and into my mouth is where I started to get in the most annoyed. And so uh, at stage six, I was like, hmm, do I start trimming it? Do I not start trimming it? Um, and so this is the decision for you. If it's annoying, just start little maintenance. But remember, if your goal is to grow your beard, you have to let it grow. Like there's no secret to it. You just have to not trim off as much as it grows in that time between trims. So uh, if in doubt, leave it alone leave your beard alone. But uh, yeah, look, fuzzy, a little bit weird, starting to get annoying, starting to get more conscious of the beard on your face. Uh, no styling, no trimming up on the cheeks or underneath. Um, that probably comes in the next section. So let's look at that. So this is week eight. And so uh, in this photo, you'll see that the beard is starting to kind of move away from my face. Um, it's definitely been trimmed up in the mustache area. I remember that just because it's really annoying when it's in your mouth. Um, and you could probably start defining the neck as well, but don't, but don't trim the beard under the chin, just define the neck if you want to. Um, and in this photo, uh, it was starting to come out of winter and uh, it was a nice summer's day and it just down the road from where I live right now. Uh, but yeah, overall, look, I think this is like that in-between beard. Feel free to keep it growing, um, but there's no reason why you can't just halt it at about eight weeks for a little bit. Trim it up, like I said, you start using those products. That's one thing I wish I had done much earlier on, is start using more and more products to define my beard, make it softer, buy beard um, shampoo and conditioner, get beard oil if, if you can. So all of those just really help to keep your beard conditioned, not as itchy, manageable, um, and it also gives you a little bit of a practice on what it's like to maintain a beard on the daily. Okay, week eight, let's look at week 10. So week 10 is really that bushiness, right? For me, the bushiness came in. I don't look particularly happy in this photo, do I, about the bushiness, but that is what it was all about. So uh, yeah, as you can see in this, I've definitely 
firmed up the mustache and I've trimmed up the cheeks here. I've lined it up. And so I'll uh, go check out my other blog on how to line up your cheeks and your neckline. Um, I've also got another video about trimming your beard. And so uh, look, the, the length on the chin, it needs to kind of get away from your chin before you start deciding what you wanna do underneath. And even at 10 weeks, there's not much you can do other than push through it. Um, your beard is starting going to look more substantial potentially if you've got good coverage, but it, but if you've got a thinner coverage or lighter hair, this is the stage where you'll start, you'll see your beard kind of come together and look more substantial. I mean, at this stage, people were saying to me, that man has a beard. Um, now they, there's no doubt I've got a beard, but then, um, I felt like it was the moment where, you know, like when you're growing up and and parents say to their kids, oh, watch out for the man or watch out for the woman. And you're like, oh, I'm a man. Uh, or if you're a woman, you go, oh, I'm, I'm a grown up woman. And you kind of miss that that memo. Um, and then this is like the, the beard situation where uh, people go, oh, watch out for the man with the beard. And you go, oh, where? And you go, oh, they're talking about me. Of course, I have a beard. Um, so yeah, week 10 is where it really sort of comes into its own, um, but you don't have the weight underneath or the ability to shape up under the chin. It still forms the, the sort of kind of shape that your face does. Um, and so, yeah, this is about just pushing through that so it can drop a little bit more. Also, um, the hairs after this stage, you expect them to grow straight, but beard hairs, at least mine, just curled and waved. And so I had all these different areas that were doing different things. And so um, I just wanna let you know that if you are at this stage and if you just wait a little bit longer, blow drying, hair straighteners and products and, and trimming, knowing how to trim your beard properly is the way to control it. Um, you just have to wait till it gets long enough so that you've got some say over which way the beard goes. The shorter it is, the less say you have with all of the tools at your disposal. So uh, yeah, let's have a look at the next photo. Okay, week 16. So here, it's just bushier, right? You can see that on the chin area, um, I've got much more say. These hairs here are actually getting much longer and they go the full length of the chin at the moment. And there you can see they just started to look long. There was a substantial chin um, and I could start combing and brushing it. And as you can see there, I've probably started using a hairdryer just to make it lie flat. Um, it's starting to come away from my chin underneath. And so I, there I've kind of flattened off the bottom a little bit, as you can see. Um, and the cheeks are well defined. So I've, I've been more comfortable there defining the cheeks, making sure it looks nice. And also I've, I'm uh, defining up the bottom as well. But yeah, importantly, it's bushy, the hair's long, I'm starting to be able to style it in some way. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I'm able to, to, to shape up the bottom. So yeah, also you get used to people saying the man with the beard. So here was no issue. It's all about the beard. Um, okay, let's look at the next one. Okay, the next one is me not looking very interested, <laughs> but this was um, at a pitching competition for my startup. And uh, yeah, I have now got the full beard that kind of comes away from the face. Um, it's it's still got a wave. My, my beard up at that point had a wave in it, which dictated how one side used to lay. But once again, if you're not sure about your beard and how it lays and the waviness, just push through it. Just allow it to grow and then as it's longer, you can dictate how it lays and how it grows and with straighteners and hair dryers and all that sort of stuff and, and basic maintenance. Um, but yeah, that was um, probably about four months ago now. And so now I've been trimming up slowly. Um, I'm still wanting some length in this beard, but uh, importantly, I just kind of trim up uh, once every fortnight or so just to get rid of, rid of the fuzziness. Um, but overall, I'm very pleased with how it's all going. I probably want a bit, bit length on the chin and the sides, but overall the mustache will stay like this. Um, there is the beard stash, which is big and beefy and, and, and I love the look of it, but I do not want hair in my mouth, as I've said in, I think, pretty much every YouTube video that I've produced. 
Um, so yeah, this is where I am at the moment. I'm probably about just over a year in to my beard growing journey. As you can see, it's not a year because I've been trimming it and keeping it nice and kind of contained, but I'm happy to slowly creep up on the length that I want. Okay, so if you're new to this channel, please remember to subscribe. That means a lot to me. And uh, I hope all of my pictures of my embarrassing beard growth journey were interesting to you. Let me know in the comments what you think and your experience, and I'll see you in the next video. Get in my beard. <laughs>